Hi everyone, I am Matias Mendiola, storyboard artist and member of the Grease Pencil core team. In this quick video, I want to introduce you to Story Pencil, a new add-on that will be bundled together with Blender 3.4. The main goal of the add-on is to improve the storyboarding process inside Blender. As usual, you can install the add-on by opening preferences and searching for the add-on. Story Pencil is under the testing tab because it's an experimental version. And once activated, you can open the video sequencer workspace and all the setting will be at the Story Pencil tab on the sidebar. The basic idea behind Story Pencil is to use the video sequencer as the main hub for all the storyboard shots. We need only one scene for the edit and multiple scenes for the frames or shot in our storyboard. For new scenes, Story Pencil uses a full copy of a template scene with everything you need to draw, a grease pencil object, a camera, a white background. The timeline in the video sequencer is synchronized with the timeline in the source scenes, so when you want to work on a particular scene, it will change to that scene in the exact frame. Blender doesn't allow to show different scenes in the same window, so we have to find a way to change from the video sequencer to the source scene every time we want to work on that scene, and also tell which workspace to use for each case. We'll see later how Story Pencil handles this. You can of course create all the scenes and workspaces and manually set up all the settings in the Story Pencil panel, but don't worry, there is a much faster way to do it. Just need to open the 2D animation template and click Setup Storyboard Session under the Draw menu. This will create all the scenes and workspaces for you and fill in all the settings for Story Pencil. You can see a video editing workspace was added and also three scenes were created. Base as the template scenes, Edit for the video editing and a blank scene just for start working. On the video sequencer header, you can do basic operation for scene strips. Edit, add new and render. The new scene strips will be a full copy of the template the scene selected and can use the prefix and suffix for its name. You can also control the number of frames for the new scene. To edit scenes under the timeline cursor, Story Pencil has two different modes to switch from the video sequencer to the source scene, the switch mode and the open new window mode. In the default switch mode, when clicking on the edit button, Story Pencil will switch from the video editing workspace to the 2D animation workspace and also will change the active scene. The frame position at the scene will be the same as in the video sequencer timeline. When you finish tweaking your drawings, you can go back to the video editing workspace using the back button on the dock sheet header. With this mode, you can go back and forth as many times as you need to continue working on your storyboard. Switch mode is handy when you are using a single monitor, but if you have multiple monitors or a pen tablet display, you can go for the open new window mode. In this mode, you can synchronize the video sequencer in one windows with the source scene in another one. You can activate new window mode from the special menu next to the edit button. Now when you click on edit button, a new window will open with the source scene at the exact frame.
When you finish drawing, you can just close the window. Or better, if you are using a second monitor, you can keep that window open and in sync with the video sequencer window. Just to better show the workflow in this video, I set up two different windows on the same monitor. The bottom one with the video sequencer and the top one with the 2D animation workspace to draw on the source scene. As you can see, the timeline position in the video sequencer is in sync with the corresponding source scene. The green and red lines on the source scene indicate the in and out time range used in the video sequencer. With this mode, you can just move through the edit timeline and draw on the source scene. During a production, sometimes you'll need to share your final edit to other departments, for example, the editorial department. Story Pencil allows you to export the scene strips as video or as image sequence. You can choose the render format and other settings in the sidebar panel. If a video format is selected, Story Pencil will save one video for each scene strip. The final renders will be imported in the channel selected on settings. If an image format is selected, Story Pencil will save one image per keyframe found in the source scene, and the imported images will maintain the gap between keyframes. So that's it. Thank you for watching, and keep in mind this is the first version of our add-on, so any feedback you have is very welcome. See you. Bye.